Hi Scorpio, this is Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your October 1st to October 15th, 2017 love, finances, and general reading. Uh, I'm a psychic medium. I'm active in my community. It's over 20 years. I give m m channeled messages through my angels, spirit guides, spirit, and the universe through my tarot and um, Oracle cards, or sometimes I don't even need the cards to uh, channel the messages. I am known on a worldwide basis with my personal readings, and the reason why people keep coming to me is because I am um, accurate all the time in their readings, and they're very trustworthy of me, okay? Um, for those of you that, that uh, when I started um, in the energy of your cards, I got very, uh, when I started uh, working on your cards, meaning that <clears throat> I always sit down with the energy of every sign. So with Scorpio, what I got today was I got a lot of messages coming in, okay? And there were a lot. And some of you uh, I see that are in a relationship right now. Those of you that are dating or in a relationship right now, there's a lot of fighting around you. You're fighting with your partner. You as the Scorpio is our... The Scorpios are very grounded, okay? I don't feel that it's the Scorpio. I think it's your um, better half that uh, you're having problems with. A uh, lot of verbal words could be from people on the outside that are coming in to uh, rock the boat in your relationship. Uh, you, a lot of you are questioning if you should be with this person or not because uh, Scorpios have been going through transformations in the last couple of years and they really know their self-worth. Uh, uh, some of you are, I also see that are the ones that are single, there is a new love interest that's coming in, okay? Um, I also see that um, for those of you that are working, the Scorpios, I see that you're in your element, you're making money, you're working hard. Some of you have your own business. Well, you know, you have, you're standing in your power at this moment and you're really like questioning uh, a lot of things about like, the person you're with at this moment for those of you that are coupled and dating okay uh, I saw that I saw some of you that are going out with friends uh, you're enjoying uh, conversations and hanging out or chilling with your with friends and family so let's get started with the reading okay I have three decks that I will be uh, giving a reading from and then I have um, the, the deck from the universe that I will, um, sorry, the deck from the universe that I will, uh, you know, get a few cards from. And then there's uh, uh, this new deck that I received that I'm going to use with you. It's the Keepers of the Light. That's also one card from there. And if I need any clarifications, I have uh, Tarot of the Sexual Magic, okay, that I'm going to use, okay, just to see if I have, I could go more in, deeper in, in uh, the reading this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, okay, from October 1st to October 15th, 2017. So for those of you, um, let's say if I do this reading, because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to um, give a personal reading through my YouTube channels. That's what I'm, that's my main purpose, okay, is that's what I'm doing at this moment is trying to reach as many Scorpios on um on the collective okay and what happens is that let's say there's a confirmation you need or a clarification you need or you need to hear something you will hear it through this reading i am guaranteeing a hundred percent of that okay but for those of you that don't um that are not uh, resonating with the scorpio um reading i advise you to uh, watch your rising sign your um your venus sign and your moon sign okay and if some of you don't know how to do that it's very simple you go on google and you type in free birth chart astrology over there you could write your name the day you were born the time you were born and where you were born and it's going to give you all the planets okay that where to where uh, um the, your rising your moon sign and your venus sign is okay and if you don't know the time you were born just put 12 p.m so if, if like, you know, you get like maybe like a portion of this reading that you feel it's, it's for you, okay, uh, and then you don't feel that the rest of the reading is for you because it's not meant to be for you because I am reading on a collective for all Scorpios, okay, and there's many of you out there. And um, then you could check your other signs and see uh, maybe uh, if they resonate or not, okay. Um, what else can I say to you guys? 
Oops, too many cards came out. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. It could be a Sagittarius Leo or Aries. Uh, I see that you guys are really like um, grounded. Uh, you have, uh, you're very grounded. Okay. Um, how I work is that uh, if the, when I give when I give the messages through uh, my angels and spirit guides and the universe, there's sometimes I won't be able to show you the cards. But other times I will, uh, when my angels tell me it's okay to show you the cards, I will. So uh, I um, I do as they tell me to do, okay? Because uh, they want to give the... They, sometimes it's, the reading could be only for one person that I'm trying to reach out because I know a lot of people are going through many changes at this moment, okay? Especially now that um, in October that's coming, uh, we have... Uh, Saturn that's going, or is it Jupiter, sorry, that's going forward, okay? Um, those of you are, that are dealing with um, a fire energy, now again, it could be any sign because it is a general reading, but I am getting, uh, I am getting, <coughs> sorry about that, um, okay, angels want me to take the cards like this, I don't know why, but this is the first time they asked me to do that, okay. So, um, I feel that some of you are dealing also with a cancer sign. It could be a cancer. Um, cancer could be Scorpio, like you, or Pisces, but I really believe it's a cancer. And there is a fire sign here as well, okay? Um, could, uh, I feel some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius uh, as well. At this moment, you have everything going, um, you have your imbalance, okay? These are for the Scorpios that are work, that were, are working on themselves on a spiritual level, I feel. Um, I feel that um, you've been working on yourself. Like, I'm going to show you the card because Spirit wants me to show you the card. This is you at this moment, okay, Scorpio? So, this card, the star card, okay, for me, it's almost like the Nine of Cups card, okay? And what it shows me here is that you have one foot on the water, you have one knee on the ground, okay, and you are maintaining your balance, okay, by pouring water here and pouring water here. This is a beautiful card because you see all the stars that are around you. This is cosmic, okay. This is you really working on yourself. It shows me this, okay. What's challenging you is the ten of pentacles which this is a beautiful card okay this tells me a completion of all the pentacles happy life with family and friends like you are you are really experiencing this type of <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> for my voice i have a cold this type of energy around you okay now why is it challenging you well this is what we're gonna go into okay uh there's something that you're not seeing in this way of thinking now maybe you're thinking like this maybe you are in this situation right now I feel that <clears throat> you're waiting for this to come okay because you created this you have the magician the magician card is a very positive card other people don't see it as a positive card I do okay because I don't read like other tarot readers okay but as you can see you have the wand here you have your sword your cup, your pentacle, the sun is shining. See this number eight here? It's infinity. Also, I see it as an infi infinity and as a number eight. Okay? You, sorry for my dogs. You, give me a, give me a second. Sorry. Sorry. I had to let my dog out. Okay, so as I can tell you here, this is like a number eight and an infinity sign. All right, so um, you are creating this at this moment. You're creating this, okay, Scorpios, 
for those of you that have been working hard on yourselves, which I, most Scorpios have, okay, you in the past created this for yourself, okay, and um, I'm going to show you the card, give me a second, temperance, okay, do you see one foot on the ground, one foot in the water, uh, you have the sun shining behind you, do you see the two cups over here, how you're putting water in and out here, not a spill, okay, this is you being in this kind of, uh, this is your energy, okay, you cultivated this for yourself, for me, this card, like my angels are giving me a yes, are exactly like this card, you have patience, you're working on yourself, you are, you, you are right now grounded, okay, these are two beautiful cards to get, Scorpio, okay, so your challenge is maybe because this over here is your challenge. But what these angels are telling me is that you know you have to need to stop to worry because it's coming to you. Okay? There's something that's hidden from you at this moment, okay? There's something that you need to shed light on. And I believe it's it's gonna come from the October 6th full moon that we have. Now, wherever you are in this world. I don't know where your full moon is, okay? When it is for us here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's October 6th, okay? During, after this full moon that's going to uh, pass, I believe you're going to understand what it is exactly. You're going to get clarity. This is what the angels are telling me, clarity, okay? This is who you are. Scorpios, I am so amazed at you for at this moment, whether you're male or female. Okay, I feel the energy of the temperance, okay? I feel the energy of the star card, and I feel the energy of this strength card, okay? You, and, and the fact of the matter, okay, is that all these three cards are about the person really being within themselves, really knowing, like they worked on like major transformations over here that you had to go through in the past to get where you are today and they're telling me that you have the strength to go through this okay just that to, and you have the patience okay but there's something there's you need to wait a bit more okay uh, there's going to be a lot of celebration there is a lot of celebration around you okay you're celebrating with family and friends um you know you you're very happy you're content okay and you also have the wheel of fortune you're you, over here tells me that you're um, you're fearing that this is not going to come towards you, and the angels are asking you, please do not fear, please do not fear. It is coming towards you. This could mean in the process of love, anything that was blocked in the past could be money, uh, relationships. This doesn't mean only relation friendships. Uh, it can mean so many things for so many people out there, right? But the wheel of fortune is coming towards you. Okay. And some of you, it's because you're creating something as well. I feel those of you that have been uh, dating someone, you are going to get married. Okay. Um, you have, um, you, you need to have a faith. You have the sun that's shining, okay, on you. Okay. That's a beautiful card. Uh, this, when you have the sun shining behind you, uh, the sun will amplify um, wherever that your desires are going towards. Okay. Some of you, I feel, are, are creating something new, okay? Or this is for singles that uh, a love relationship it, it could, could come in for you. It could be from a, uh, a fire element. So fire elements is Sagittarius, uh, Aries, and Leo. It could also be from Cancer, okay? A Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? But it could be any sign now. But this also could be a love interest that's coming in. Or something creative that you're working on that's going to make your finances hit the roof. Okay, this is what I'm getting hit the roof. It's going to be like something that unexpected because you got, when this happens for you, okay, you're going to get, um, it's going to be a completion, okay, because it's just, I think, a bit more time. You need to have patience even though you are patient, you need to have patience because you want to move forward very quickly. Like you just want to take off with whatever situation, whether if it's a relationship or um, if it's, um, you know, a job, uh, a job that you you want or that you're waiting for. Or um, it could be, um, 
what else could it be? Uh, you, um, job, relationship, anything creative. Because as a general reading, that you're moving forward. You want to move quickly forward, okay? But the angels are saying, hold on here. Just wait a bit more, okay? Because there's something that you need to see. They're all positive cards, by the way. But I feel that some of you are going to get your clarification after October 6th, okay? 2017, after the full moon. And the ones that are single, you are going to be meeting somebody. And someone, the person that you're going to be meeting, okay, uh, is going to be balanced, okay? Just like you, okay? Um... You're tired of just waiting. You're tired of waiting. You want to move forward. Okay? Uh, I understand that. Okay? The angels are saying, but you need to wait. Okay? Because um, you need to wait at this moment for the sole reason because there's something that's not revealed to you. This is what the angels are telling me. Now, it doesn't mean it's bad or not. If It, it doesn't mean it's something uh, that's not uh, good news. It could mean, it could be good news as well. But, you need to wait a little bit more, okay? A little bit more, Scorpios. Some of you are doing um, are ha have an online business, and you're wondering if your online business is gonna is gonna um, be uh, successful. The angels are giving me a yes, okay? Some of you are moving uh, to another country. Um, you are or another city, um, but you need to understand that at this moment. Okay, um, you there's something that's not completed. Okay, now is it? Um, there's, you see, I got the world upside down. With if the world would be like this, it would tell me that you completed all your lessons to move forward. But because it's upside down, it's telling me that you have to hold on a minute. There's something that's gonna come to light. Okay, with the moon card. Okay, I really believe the moon card because I work with moon phases. Okay. And um, and I believe that, that if the moon card is here for you, I believe that after October 6th, you will see what it is that you need to know before you take off, okay? Before you leave, before you, before you make any decision of what... Even though the cards are all positive here, I see all positive cards, there's still something that uh, has to be lit for you, okay? And I just want you to wait before you make any grand decisions. I know some of you are, could also be dealing with an Aquarius, um, Gemini, or um, Libra, okay? Uh, this person is very logical, uh, likes to make plans, uh, sees things clearly. I think this is you in the uh, in the near future, okay? I really believe that this is your the type of energy you're in because you know what you want, you want, okay? Scorpios, now, again, I'm not dealing with all... Scorpios like this, but um, th this is for uh, another time. There's a possibility of a new job that's coming towards you. Maybe some of you applied uh, for a, a job and you're just waiting for it to come in. Uh, Spirit says uh, it's coming for you. Um, just stay positive, okay? Just stay very positive, but it's coming. Um Some of you, some of you, uh, Scorpios, I see here. Um, you in the past you had to leave something behind. Some of you are leaving family, friends. Some of you are leaving the whole, uh, your whole childhood, you know, teenage years, um, you know, your whole past behind to move forward. Okay, that's. I feel some of you are moving to another country, state, and you're leaving everybody behind. Uh, you um, you took that decision to do that because it was you felt that you always had to stand up for yourself that nobody understood you. Now this is for other for other Scorpios out there. I feel like a lot of you are healing from uh, a bad situation. Like you you really got like hurt, backstabbed, like to the point that you feel that there's no hope for tomorrow. Um, but I hear I see here that uh, you're healing from the situation and that you're planning. You're you are moving forward. Okay. Um, you are moving forward, and some of you uh, can't seem to have closure on, on uh, this past uh, relationship that you had. And Spirit says that you don't need to have the closure, that you know the facts in front of you already, and that uh, that, that should be enough of a closure for you, Scorpios. This is what Spirit is telling me.
okay? Um, also that you're not uh, resting, you're not resting a lot, okay? Uh, you need to rest more, you're sleeping, you're not sleeping the hours you're supposed to be sleeping. Um, Spirit tells me that some of you need to meditate, okay? Uh, then I also got, like at the beginning when I told you that I, in the energy, I felt that those Scorpios that are dating and uh, dating and um, that you're with somebody, there's been a lot of fighting between you guys. I don't believe that uh, you, Scorpio, or the person is the person that is fighting, okay? Um, I believe that that's your significant other. Uh, the words are very verbally, like... Uh, not a good energy of words that are coming towards you, but you're standing in your power. You're standing in your ground. You're standing. You're, you're meaning that when I say you're standing in your power, I mean that you are a really, um, you're really, um, you know, you know what you want. Okay. You, like I said, Scorpios have been going through a major transformation in the last couple of years. I feel from 2012 and on and, uh, and this past year, uh, you know, now you know exactly what you want. You're questioning everything about your life. It's like you're re, -eval re uh, evaluating yourself all over, okay? And uh, now some of you uh, don't feel to be in this relationship anymore. Um, and Spirit is telling me with the angels that they already showed you the signs of what to do, okay, and uh, some of you Scorpios are not um, listening to the signs, okay, um, you know deep inside if you want to stay with this person or not, it's, it's, it's up to you, okay, some of you are dealing with a karmic relationship as well, okay, you're dealing with this karmic relationship, so because you've been together for a while, you know, those that, are, that have been like encoupled or dating, okay, um, um, it shows me here that you're resisting the change, okay, uh, because you're questioning everything, because you um, don't appreciate, uh, you don't appreciate, uh, you don't appreciate the, the fighting you're doing with uh, your significant other, okay, uh, because you are not that person anymore, and uh, so Spirit is saying just uh, be aware of the signs that they're showing you, because um, they're showing you the way to go, and uh, you're being very resistant to that, okay? There's something that you're not seeing, okay? There's something that you're not seeing clearly. And again, when I say that, okay, again, the moon card here shows me that something has to come to light for you. This is all, uh, for all Scorpios, okay? And you are not the angels, okay? You have three cups here. You're not even paying attention to this. It seems like you're bored and you don't want to know anything. And the angels are coming right in front of your face to say, hey, look, look, look what I have here for you. Okay, so please be aware. Okay, stay aware of the signs. Okay, a lot of you are resisting change. A lot of you in the past. Now, again, this is uh, for all Scorpios on the collective. So for those of you that, um, you know, this doesn't resonate, uh, I, I advise you that you take uh, a look at your rising sign, your moon sign, and your Venus, Okay. Uh, for those of you that, um, you know, um, in the past had to let go of a certain relationship or situation or people or friends, uh, you know, there was a lot of fighting, uh, you feel that justice wasn't on your side, and you had to always stand up your ground. Uh, Spirit is saying also for you that, uh, you know, to look at your, don't, don't look at yourself like you did something wrong, Scorpio, because you haven't done anything wrong at all, okay? Uh, People in situation had to leave because it was karmic, okay? This was a lesson that you had to learn, okay, Scorpio? And to really look at yourself like this uh, Nine of Pentacles, okay? Or that you're man or women, it doesn't matter who, okay, gender, it doesn't matter. Uh, this is who you are. You know that you are this person. You're poised, grounded. You have the pentacles around you. You work so hard. But when it's upside down, it's showing me that you are not seeing your true value to who you are, okay? And some of you are getting out of the depression. Just that um, you have to go. If Some of you are going through a transfer transformation right now. And Spirit is asking you to just go with the transformation. Because there will be blessings when you come out of this transformation. There's going to be a soul growth for you, 
okay? And look at the signs that the angels are, are trying to show you, okay? For those that are single, there is a soulmate relationship coming for you, okay? These are two people coming together with kindred, kindred two kindred souls coming together, okay? Uh, um, wanting to be together and sharing their love together, okay? So you do have a soulmate relationship. You have beautiful cards here on. You have beautiful cards. It's just... There's one piece of the puzzle that's missing, okay? One little piece, okay? And I, I, I think that you just have to be, look, be mindful and look. And I really believe this has to do after October 6th, you will get your clarification, okay? For those of you in anything that you're doing right now at this moment, because you do have, you have beautiful cards. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Look, I'm, I mean, you have... The chariot, you moving forward, you being in balance, your light and shadow sides, okay? Um, you have the sun shining. This could also be a cancer that's in your life. You could be dealing with a cancer. You have the sun shining. Some of you that are dating, some of you that are dating, and uh, some of you that are dating for a long time will be married, okay? I do see this as well. You do have the Ace of Wands, new beginnings. Could be for uh, singles that are coming in, the soulmate, the soulmate cards, okay? Um, those of you, there's others of you that this is a project you're working on, something creative, it's gonna come to flotation, okay? You're gonna, you are gonna be like the queen or the king of wands. Doesn't matter if it's a queen or a king, but you will be standing in this power. You have the Wheel of Fortune that's coming towards you. You have the Three of Cups, Celebration. You have the Strength card, okay? And again, this is almost like... I'm going to show you. Hold on. You see? The Strength card with the Infinity sign. The Magician has the same thing on top of, of its head. Okay? You're cre you are co-creating it, and it's beautiful. You're doing everything exact, okay? Like everything... Is coming to rotation for you, okay? You have here the Temperance card. You have the Star card. You have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? You have a soulmate relationship as well. Those of you that are married have this already. It's beautiful. Those of you that are coupled, you have this. Those of you that are single are going to have this. But there's some of you also that are right now are, uh, that's what I got at the beginning uh, when I was um, in your car, when I was uh, meditating on your cars. I did, I did see something about a relationship that's been together, that the people have been together or been dating for a while or a uh, couple that have been going, there have been many fights back and forth. And the reason that I'm not getting any cards on that is because the angels and spirit and my spirit guides are telling me that you know exactly what you have to do, Scorpio. Uh, the signs are all there for you, okay? And uh, it's free will you do with what you please to do, okay? But I feel that there's something that's hidden. Now, it doesn't have to be negative, so please do not think negative. It could be as, it could be positive as well, Okay. So there's something hitting, and I think that October, after October 6th, after the full moon, you're going to get clar clarifications because there's something that you're not seeing. So this is what I have for um, this reading. Now we're going to go to the other deck. For those of you uh, that have been leaving me messages, um, comments, and likes, and shares, I want to thank you, Scorpios. I, I got a beautiful message from the Scorpios. Um, I thank you very much for, um, for, you know, liking and sharing and commenting. I very, I'm very, very grateful and, uh, I feel very grateful and appreciative and blessed. Uh, like I said, I'm here to help the collective. Uh, I got urged to come on, uh, YouTube, uh, through my spirit guides. Actually, it was like more of a shove to come here to help people on the collective, I try to give a personal reading while I'm on, um, while I'm, uh, you know, doing these YouTube channels, you know, channel videos, sorry. Uh, and uh, I got urged to come here to help the collective, okay, because 
Um, yes, I'm not like other card readers. I don't always read the face value of the card, but uh, it, I, I just do whatever my angels and my spirit guides tell me to do when I do and when I give the reading. Um, and I want to thank you for, for like liking and sharing and subscribing to me. I really appreciate it. But I'm really here to help the collective. For those of you that got a personal reading from me, um, and you all know who you are, you know that I'm a spiritual coach, and most of you have my phone number, and you could text me at any time. Uh, I do give that service. It's not a service. I just want to be a. Um, I, I want to be a coach there for anyone that needs just a positive, um, you know, a positive thought, or is it sometimes they're they're not seeing something clearly, like, and they do, 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 and they could come to me for help. Okay, but those are the only one. Those are, I give those uh, services to only the people that are taking personal readings for me. I won't, you know, and uh, that have a that had a personal reading for me, and um, and I'm always going to be there for them, and they know that, okay? Because uh, you are all beautiful souls, okay? All of you, on a on a collective, and I love Scorpios, okay? Scorpios are, uh, you know, they've been through so many transformations. It's been very heavy for them, and. You know, from business to love to marriage, oh, you know, but you made it through, and um, I want to tell you that, you know, the angels applaud you, okay? Now, over here, I see that a lot of you are in balance, okay? There's going to be, for the singles, you're going to be meeting someone, again, I'm getting this card, you're going to be meeting somebody. For uh, the dating, people are dating, your relationship, your relationship is going to the next level, and, uh, and um, I see for the people that are married, uh, or living with each other for a long time, you're going to the next level of your relationship. Some of you will be getting married. I see engagement. I see marriage. I see others of you that whatever project you're working on, it's it's um, it's going to take place. You're going to make money off of it. I see a lot of traveling as well. I see some of you buying a house in the in the in the in nature, like a, a house near a river. I see this all, as well. Uh, I see for most of you, your third eye is. Uh, opening okay and um, your, your third eye is opening I see also another uh, soulmate relationship here okay two people you see how they look at each other I'm gonna bring the look how they look at each other and how they hold their hands this is a, a, a this is a, a union of both coming together they recognize each other I also feel this is a twin flame union in my heart, I, I feel that. But it's really beautiful love. And this is coming in for you, okay? And you will have success. You got the one. The one here is new beginning. Triumph success. I believe that, okay? Your third eye is, um, for a lot of you, your third eye is opening at this moment. Or it's opened already. Uh, you're seeing clarity, okay? I see that as well. Um, you know where you're going. Scorpios. I'm so happy for this reading. Also, your throat chakra is doing well as well. You're speaking your truth. You're speaking your truth, okay? Um, and I'm very happy to see this as well. Is there anything else you want to tell? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus from October 1st to October 15th. For those of you that want uh, a personal reading from me, uh, I think it's written in the box below, okay? It's written in the box below. Um, near my video at the bottom, you, how you could contact me. Um, and uh, for those of you, um, if if you want to know like my rates or how I work, uh, all you have to do is uh, email me, okay? But I'm here, I'm really here to help the collective, okay? Because I notice a lot on YouTube, um, you know, there's been, I'm not, I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm not here to criticize. But uh, I'm seeing a lot of false falsity on YouTube, and it's sad that uh, people are taking advantage of other people like that. I don't want to take. A, I'm not here to do that. I'm here to speak my truth because I am integrity. I stand in my truth and I speak my truth. And I want to thank you all. Sorry that I my voice is a bit off today because I do have a, a bit of a cold. Okay, uh, and. Um, so, um, in case that uh, my, my voice sounds a bit, uh, this is your destiny. You were fated to be with this person. Okay. Um, 
You were faded from the heaven, from the angels are working behind the scenes. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying for the singles, please to choose wisely and the people that are dating. Okay. Uh, because there is, um, there is uh, this kind of um, relationship coming to you. Sorry for the glare. There is, there is uh, this type of relationship coming towards you. Okay. But you need to choose wisely. There's going to be many choices. So, and your intuition, uh, for not all of you, but for, for some of you, your intuition could be off, okay? But for others of you, uh, just choose wisely, please, okay? Um, that's what Spirit is telling me, to choose wisely. Is there any message, anything else you want to tell Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising? I ask you, my angels. Okay. Here it tells me, for a lot of you Scorpios, you have your third eye, that's clear, that's a number six, two number six over here, harmony. Also, your throat chakra is clear and balanced, number five, and your heart chakra is, is balanced and healed. And look at that, I'm just like, <laughs> four, five, six. Okay, that's the synchronicity. And the harmony card with two people come together is a six. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> I love it when spirit is like that. And you have two ones on the ground as well. And a number 11. Okay. Uh, just also be careful. Also, some of you, uh, if you, there's people around you that are very envious of you. And uh, it could be very, uh, people could be very deceptive around you. Just um, just know that, um, you know, if things are going super well for you, uh, you know, don't, at the, if it's like at the beginning now, let's say things are going super well for you and, you know, a lot of people maybe want, you want to share your happy news with, uh, you know, of course you want to share your happy news, okay? Your intuition is right on target, okay? Follow your intuition. You will know for the singles, okay, and dating who you have to choose, okay? You will know. Okay, follow your intuition. But if uh, I, I understand a lot, you want to share share with the people that you trust the most, like your closest family and friends. Do not share just with anybody. Okay, because um, because the reason why I tell you this is because there is some kind of envy and uh, people that are going to be envious around you. And uh, my ear is ringing at this moment while I'm telling you this, and uh, deception around you uh, towards the people. Like you can't just go blur it out to anybody, you know, just keep it more to yourself. Just maybe tell one or two friends that are closest to you, maybe your family members, okay? Um, but just watch out for that, okay? I also have that when you meet this person, okay, for those of you Scorpios that are single and dating, there's going to be positive movement forward. Again, I have again a, num uh, a number eight, okay? There's gonna, you're going towards better times, there's not going to be any more uh, uh, hurt, hard, heartache, and and loss. You're not going to have mental mental conflict anymore. Okay, this is going to positive ways, and you are going to be going through a transformation when you meet this person. It's because you're going to be activated. Okay, there's an activation. You might feel like chaotic confusion. You're not going to feel good for a couple of days, but it's because of the activation that you had with this person. Okay, because there is another one on the ground, okay, love begins, okay, and some of you are meeting this person um, um, online, I feel some of you are meeting this person online, okay, you don't live close to each other, for others of you, I do feel that you are close to each other, okay, it depends where you are, it depends who you are, and it depends who I'm reading for, okay, oops, all right, let's go to the next deck. This is my Italian deck. It's my favorite deck. I already shuffled the cards before, okay? Um, when I was uh, meditating on them, I shuffled them. So what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from October 1st to October 15th? What are the signs? What are the signs? Okay. Angels and... Is there anything you want to tell? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising.
too many cards, sorry. What are the messages? What are the messages for Scorpio Sun and Rising? Oh well, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I feel some of you Scorpios. Okay, now this is a totally other uh, for other Scorpios out there that I did not uh, touch. I feel someone stalking you, or they're watching over you, or there's someone that's looking out for you. It doesn't have to be negative. Okay, again, it, can, it doesn't mean that it's negative. Uh, but I do feel that someone's watching you, Scorpios, okay? Female or man. Like, again, I don't feel it's something, like, you need to be careful of. Or, I don't know if someone's stalking you. Or someone's trying to, like, get close to you and they don't know how to approach you. I feel that you're having a lot of, the, for the singles and dating, I feel that you're having a lot of multiple... Um, um, you're talking to a lot of different people, Okay. Um, for others of you, um, I want to put it out there. If you uh, please check your uh, alarm at home, make sure that when you leave the house, you have your uh, alarm on, uh, and make sure that all your windows. And those of you that don't have an alarm, make sure that all your windows are closed, because I do feel that uh, you're there's someone's gonna try to break in your house, and uh, some jewels and some money are, that maybe that you're hiding in the house will be um, taken away from you. Okay. Um, I also do see a stalker, though, now that I get the other card, okay? It could be also a stalker, okay? Um, yeah, someone, like, is very jealous of you. I don't know, I'm getting that, too, as well. I have to put it out there. If I, if my angels tell me that, that I have to put it out there, I will, I, then I am, because, uh, I, just in case, you know, like, if, if you, uh, maybe some, you know, maybe some, they're stalking you on Facebook, or... Uh, on your social media like I feel like there's someone's always watching you okay Scorpio for those of you that are um, dating okay uh, you're having a lot of conversations and they're like pretty intense you know pretty intense conversations it's like you're trying to decide which one you want to choose okay um, I see here there's gonna be a reunion okay I, I feel that two people are, are coming together, I guess, for the singles, or for those of you that are getting together with someone. you. Uh, I feel this for the females, okay, Scorpios. I feel like there's two men that you're trying to decide from, okay. Uh, oops, the cards are just flying out. Yeah. What are you trying to say here? Wow, there's a lot of cards. Sorry, I had to <laughs> take a sigh here because... I'm getting bombarded with messages and I'm just, it's very hard sometimes because I get bombarded with many messages at the same time. Sometimes they just show me images, sometimes um, I have to put that into words, sometimes they give me words that are like uh, not in a sense of senti sentence form and I have to put it in a sentence to give it to you. Sometimes they just show me like, um, the, or I hear, you know, so uh, please bear with me here because I'm trying to give you like the best reading as possible. Okay, so men or female, okay, I'll take that back, okay, male or female that are dating and are coming together with somebody, you guys, I feel like some of you are dating one or two people, you're not dating the same person, you're dating two people at the same time, you're getting to know them on a more personal level, you're talking a lot, it's very intense here, I feel, some of you, um, you know, uh, there's a person that you need to uh, stay op uh, aware of, okay, because I feel that there's like three people, okay, in all, okay. I said two before, but I still feel a third person here. Uh, one of them is the right person and the other one isn't, okay. And um, I feel there's also a widower that's dating. Someone, if you lost your husband or wife, um, you know, uh, you made peace with that, it, that, the person not being there anymore. But uh, there, and you do feel the hope of, uh, you feel hope in finding somebody okay because that's your feeling that you're getting that you are the energy you're in at this moment sorry I'm having a hard time uh, talking over here but I do feel that some of you okay you need to be careful because there's someone that is not showing their true colors 
Now you know which who I'm talking about because angels saying that that when I say that those words you will know. Okay, there's someone in the two people or three people you're dating that is not true. Okay, uh, they're not showing their true colors and to be careful of this person because this person uh, is. Um, I feel like there's there's like jealousy around this person. They're very jealous people, or they could be like. Um, and I feel some of you are getting stalked. Like someone's watching you. It doesn't mean I could be either or good or bad, but someone's watching you. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you, but there's someone that's watching you for through Facebook, through social media. It could be that they're trying to uh, come to you to make an advance. Okay, towards you and some of you, it could be that some people are just stalking you, okay? Some of you feel like let down, you feel sad, okay, at this moment. Um, not all of you, but some of you, okay? I guess those are the people that are single that you want to date, but uh, you feel that everyone's around you is not the right choice. Okay, right now, uh, you feel like... Um, you have, there's no hope, but Spirit is saying to let that those emotions go because they do not serve you. And that um, someone is coming in for you. This is for the singles. It's 100% someone's coming in for you. Now again, I'm doing this from October 1st or, or to the 15th. But for those of you, okay, it does. It will not apply with for everybody for that date. Sometimes the energies take time to, uh, they overlap each other. There's no definite time, but this is the feeling I'm getting from October 1st to October 15th, okay? Because I feel some of you are on online dating, and I feel some of you will meet someone, but they will, they're will they not going to be living close to your house, okay? They're going to be living overseas or maybe another state, okay, or, or, or province or country. Is there anything else you want to tell Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from October 1st to October 15th, 2017? Making me work at this. Come on, is there anything else you want to tell me, or is that it? Someone, some of you um, that are single and are dating, you met someone at your work, or you work for them. Uh, I feel like uh, you have a job where. I don't know, some of you, I don't know where I'm, why I'm getting this. Someone is cleaning their houses or cleaning uh, their office. And I feel that, uh, I feel that this is for the same gender. Okay, I'm, I'm not feeling, uh, same gender I'm getting. Uh, that uh, that lady fell in love with you. Okay, or that man it, it fell in love with you. I, I feel like they're like cleaning, cleaning your house, cleaning your office. I don't know what they're cleaning, but they're cleaning something. Anyways, and uh, that's that's their job, and they and I feel that uh, they have uh, strong feelings for you, but I don't think that they're telling you at this moment. Okay, they're 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 hoping that you're gonna know this. This this is for the same gender I'm getting. Anything else you want to tell? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. No, that's it. That's all I'm getting. Normally I could get more, but that's all I'm getting. I think they wanted me to say what I had to say. Now I'm going to take a card from the universe to see what they want to tell you. Where's my universe cards? Okay. I'm just going to give it a shuffle for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and October 1st, October 15th. See what the universe has to say for to you, Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from October first to October fifteenth. Oh boy, yeah, two of them came out. Okay, we'll see what they have to say to you. So the first card that popped out is number twenty for those of you that want to know, which equals to number two, which equals to duality. 
Look how beautiful this card is. You could look at it while I read it to you. Number 20. Uh, loved ones. Your friends and loved ones who have crossed over want you to know that they are with you. They are wrapping their loving energy around you and ask you to feel peace and serenity within your heart and mind about their passing. They are living and enjoying the other side and deeply desire for you to feel peaceful within this world. They ask that you surrender any painful emotions you are holding on to and allow their loving presence to flow within your heart, bringing forth peace and serenity. Feel their loving energy and joyfully lift the gift of life here on earth. So I guess the angels in the universe wanted to give you some of you this message. If those of you that have someone that passed on, I, I, I give you my sympathies on that. I know it's not easy, and it's the hardest thing sometimes to let go, but they are they are better where they are now. They're more in peace and in harmony. And the next card is number 11, okay, which equals to a number one or two, sorry. Not, well, I don't know if you see the card because it's really beautiful. I'm going to put it like this. Well, what, I, what I see for here is like I see green, the healing, and I see again a number eight. Number eight is very uh, prominent for you guys, for Scorpios this month. Infinite, impo uh, infinite possibilities. They're saying your daydreams are the creation of your deepest desires and wishes. While they do hold guidance as to what you are wanting and needing on your path, they also carry a creative force for manifestation. The universe is asking you to allow yourself to dream, to allow the, ad the idea that the impossible can be possible. Your greatest wishes in life are a big key to your path, and the entire universe is working with you right now to bring those dreams to fruition. The possibilities of what can be manifested are infinite. Wow, that's a beautiful, it's really beautiful what they have to say. Very beautiful. Okay, well, Scorpio, um, thank you very much for listening to the video. Please like, subscribe, and share as much as possible because I really want to reach the collective um, as much as possible. Um, I'm going to work is that every, uh, all, I, I ask this from all the, the signs, one who re, who views or likes or shares my video the most in November for this month in October, in November will get one free reading. Okay. I will choose someone in the, in the comments. If you comment and like, I will feel your energy and it's very possible hundred percent that when I do my next reading, that, uh, your energies will be in my next reading as, uh, when I do my uh, personal readings here on YouTube, because that's what I'm intending to do is use the the readings here, and um, to use these readings here to like make a personal reading because I want to reach as many people as I can. Thank you very much for listening. I love you guys so much. Take care. Bye.